hello there um, this is a little quick rundown of how I managed to get a hold of the uh, malevolent set from Hunter and what I did was first I ran some Winnie Grasp, I ran some Toll Brads and I ran some random BGs um, and I also oh, and I also did um, the random battle battlegrounds and the cult arms and then I found the rares in Krasarang Wilds uh, Disha, whatever the name, Fair Warden and Dala on Nightbreaker and Mavis Harris or Marvin, whatever her name is. So there's three rares in there in Krasarang and I'm actually gonna put pictures up on the blog from Wowhead and what you do is if you kill those rares you get 275 um, honor points per kill every time you kill them and with the perk you know that's I mean that, that I mean that's what you get you get 275 but without the perk you get 250 so I mean after a couple of rounds of doing those I could easily you know get decked out in various gear and I was get, you know grabbing upgrades like three upgrades a week or even more depending on how much time I had to kill them so you know farming rares rares in Krasarang Wilds is definitely a good way to farm honor and if you're like you know if you want to be kind of hardcore about it you know you can farm them and then queue up for PvP and I mean the spawn time is like an hour so I mean you can get tons of kill per day ton, tons of kills uh, per day if you make sure that uh, you know that you're on there and that you know that you know when they were killed and it's kind of easy to you know keep track of that because you can just make a target macro and then you know okay this dude is dead that means he's up in like 45 minutes an hour you know no problems there uh, but the thing is if you're on a populated realm I think you're pretty ass you know pretty damn fucked so but I mean this works on a low pop realm works wonders um, so right now I don't need to kill him anymore so I've stopped so right now I'm farming the other rares on the Isle of Thunder and um, actually I'll get back to that but the thing is with the rares I've been farming them solo the ones uh, in Crass Rank uh, I've rolled Beast Mastery so that I have more interrupts uh, Intimidation uh, the what's that Silencing Shot and Scatter Shot because there's this I think it's Disha Fear Warden uh, like a Paladin whatever tosses like a ring of light on the ground um, so what I do is I interrupt a couple of those and then there's I mean there's all kind of strategies you can use and I guess different class, classes can use different stuff but anyways um, that's the mob that I since there's you know lots of ads in the vicinity that's the one that I use like I save my, my I was about to say bloodlust I was I save my actually I should pop bloodlust on that fucker wow Oh. See, that's what happens when I record. It's always realizations. You know, I've been doing this for weeks, and now I've stopped, and I'm like, okay, cool. And then, and then I just realized, why the hell don't I bring, my, bring out my um, exotic pet, the uh, Corround, and just pop Bloodlust every time I kill him, you know? No problems there. Simply, uh, simply done, you know, down in like, I don't know what. But, oh well. We learn. We learn. <laughs> that's the good part about, you know, talking about stuff like this, because, I mean, you spread the word and you learn. That's what happens. Um... So, anyways, yeah, Crash Rang Wilds, good stuff. Um, I'll put up links on the on the blog, wowergold.blogspot.com. Um, and I actually just want to record like quick, some short shit, not nothing long, nothing lengthy. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, with the Marvis, uh, you got to make sure that you stay within 15 yards. There's a couple of other rares that have that, so. You stay within 15 yards and you don't get this. She does a shank ability. No, she she tosses something at you. It's the same ability that... Well, it's not the same name, but it's the same kind of ability that Yule Wildpaw uses. Uh, the dude in Town Long Steps. Uh, who actually killed. I had trouble killing him, but then, you know, after, after a couple of tries, I got him. But this was, like, tries over weeks rather than, like, the same evening. Because I was like, okay, fuck it, I ain't getting him down. So I checked out Wowhead, and I was like, I gotta kill this bastard, and I can make it happen. So, so I did, 
and yep good stuff I'm um, thinking if there's anything else uh, yeah and the reason that I've been farming this uh, the sets right now well the sets the set has been um, the fact that for, for uh, 5.3 there's tons of things coming out and I really want to make sure that I you know that I'm as prepared as I can be on like a because I don't like to use casual level but on, on like a soft soft pvp level so that i'm prepared and don't die instantly and also another thing that i forgot to tell you about the crash ring wilds is with those rares is they actually drop trinkets and i have all three of those and uh, each of those rares have a trinket so one as resilience it, it's it basically acts as the uh medallion of the horde um so you know you use that to get out of uh impairing movement whatever, whatever effects and the cooldown is once every minute. And then you have another one that adds like, uh, I think it's 10,000 PvP power. And then there's a third that adds resilience. And after watching a video of this Russian guy, I forgot his name. I was linked in guild chat anyways. Um, and he actually spoke about resilience, you know, beating PvP power. So the ones I'd go for would be the... Actually, I'd just get them all. But I mean, yeah. So anyways, get those trinkets. And keep in mind that they only work in Pandaria but every trinket has a one minute cooldown so you can have tons of fun if you're on a PvP server or if you know that there's some world PvP going on on Bronze Dragon Flight it's pretty you know it's pretty dead um, I've been doing some PvP quests on the Isle of Thunder had some fun there but I only did like one day with some action actually and then the other day was just like nothing happened and I'm kind of like I don't know and right now it's I'm um, I'm, yeah, I'm restructuring things, so haven't really had much time to delve into that. Um, so that's those. Yep, Crash Ring Wilds. Um, next topic is... Oh, shit, hold on. Yeah, the next topic is also rares. Since I've been... Because I get, in, get into these farming sprees uh, during ex expansions, you know, when new stuff happens. And I remember actually back in Wrath, I was farming these Siren's Tears... Uh, and I didn't have the blog back up then, but I was actually farming those a lot and making gold. And the funny part with this is I'm not making gold with the honor points, but it's still the same kind of thing where I I kill something. And also, you know, they, they uh, I don't know, I think that was hot, hot fix actually, but you get these bags sometimes like with uh, ghost iron ore or with, or with herbs or whatever, leather. So from a like gold making perspective or whatever, you know, I'm not saying that it happens often, but I mean... You still get some extra whatever in there, so that's good stuff. And I like to multitask, so you know it's all for the honor, and it's still fun to hunt fuckers. And you know I get I get a, and I'm a hunter, and you know it's 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 fun stuff. Uh, on a PvP realm, killing those I think can be kind of risky, especially the Dish of Fear Warden, the Paladin, because he gets kind of annoying. And I know that there was at least three times I've seen Alliance players just watching me there. Uh, so, but I mean. You could also bring a team, but I think there's just one honor badge that drops, so whatever. Uh, yes, yeah, so anyways, the Isle of Thunder. Um, patch 5.2 is out. Throne of Thunder is out the raid. Uh, heroic progression is right now. But, well, sorry. Um, Dream Paragon killed Leishan first on heroic and then followed by method. Um, there's a couple of guilds on 11 of 13. And Raw Den is the final boss of this tier so we'll see what happens 30 attempts anyways with isle of thunder rares i actually first i was like i don't need those you know i don't care you know, i'll do my own stuff but i'm kind of bored of the whole grind of valor points uh scenarios and heroics just doesn't really i don't know i'd rather do other things with my playtime so what i've done is i've done a couple of dailies yeah, I think I'm revered now, but it's not like I... I, I really haven't done it the same way that I did with... Because uh, I used to do one faction at a time, inspired by lore. Um, so, lore from tank spot. But anyways, so with these rares, what I, what I did was... I was like, okay, cool, if I can kill the rares in Krasarang, I might, I might as well try and kill some rares in uh, Isle of Thunder, especially if I'm bored and don't really feel like grinding out Valor points. And I mean, honor is done, so what else can I do right now? So what I did was uh, I tried out a couple of rares. I killed Mumta. I killed Al Tabim. I, uh, I helped the Druid kill Rasha, but 
Um, he was a lion, so I didn't get the uh, the loot from him. But he's soloable. And first I was kind of like, okay, shit, there's two elites out there. What the fuck do I do? And then when I saw him up the second time, I was like, okay, he's about to die. So that means someone else is on, on him. So if he's hard, it's still easier to kill if you're two, whatever there is on there. So I went in there, uh, feigned death, and um, yeah, basically easy, easy to get. So, but I haven't really had much time, so I haven't killed him, and he wasn't up when I've been looking there. Uh, I've killed Haywire. Took some adjusting. Uh, if you're ranged, stay at range, basically. That's it. Uh, in, like, max range. Uh, keep dots up if you have them. Um, Mumta was... Sometimes I would line up side him and, and just use my pet. Uh, heal him up, even if he had the debuff. Uh, but basically, and if the pet died, I would just, you know, line up side and, uh, and what's that called? Revive the pet, put him back up. So that's, you know, that's cool. Kill the, you can kill the, uh, if you have time, depending on the realm and all that, you, you can kill the, uh, there's three, like, ads up. Not ads, but, you know, like, one patrol and two guys standing on the sides. So I always like to have space, if possible, with Dish of Fear Ward, and I just kill what I have to, and then, and then, you know, finish him up, because I don't want someone else to get, get him if I'm there. Um, but anyways, this is all over the place. Um, what else? I think that's it for now. Let's check the timer. Yeah, that's 11 minutes. Uh, you know what? That's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I want to spend some time in wine. You know what I'll do? I'll, I'll take a break and I'll get back to you guys. And I'll actually record. No, fuck it. So, the reason that I'm recording this, simple and plain, is... Um, 5.2 is out, yay, uh, which means that we finally got rid of all the 5.2 talk uh, on tons of podcasts that I usually enjoy, but I mean, I was like, oh my god, come on, patch this, patch that, speculations, PTR, I mean, what the hell, man, and then, um, anyways, so that patch is out, nice, next thing that happens now, you know, there's in the, there's two things at once, one is Hearthstone, or I always say Hearthstone, but anyways, um, there's a iOS app coming out, um, like a mini card game, whatever, I don't know, looks good, uh, I mean, interesting, but it's not like I'm all over it and like, oh, so, what happens is, tons of podcasts begin talking about that, not only that, uh, there's also this whole 5.3 thing with the PvP that I've, that I've been waiting for, which is great, with the PvP changes, but the thing is, that also means that we have another month at least of people talking about the fucking patch notes and that just pisses me off so what that did was it really made me go okay fuck it I'll record let's make it happen you know I gotta put in my two cents and talk about other stuff uh, so hopefully this will be a, like a little beginning of another another uh, streak or whatever you want to call it of recordings because i'm just fed up uh what i'll do is i'll also simplify it i'll keep it shorter uh no need for breaks might not even have music i don't know we'll see i just want to get shit off my mind and actually up upload these bastards because that's what it is you know i've recorded tons of episodes but i haven't uploaded them and it's like okay shit that's outdated that's outdated that's changed i don't care about that anymore you know same with blogging, you know, I type stuff and it's like, oh, this is cool, and then it's like, oh, shit, went too long before I posted it, and maybe I'm not done with it, so I need to get into the whole, like, okay, do things shorter, keep it short, uh, but anyways, I'll get back to you guys, at least I got into the Crash Ring Wild guys, and I got into the Isle of Thunder, yeah, Goda is another rare that I killed, it wasn't solo, but he seems very easy, he does the turtle spin, so what you do, just interrupt that, done, uh, didn't see anything else with him. Um, I'm trying to think if there was one that was like, yeah, well, you wild paw man. He got to me. That fucker. He really, yeah. But I'm glad I killed him. And I was like, I was like, okay, kill them. I've done it once. I'm done. I'm going for the uh, glorious achievement, semi slowly. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, fuck that. Uh, thank you guys. Awesome. Yeah, I just want to say that the mana cooler, great stuff. He was talking about the auction house. Um, he was talking about how the remote auction house is a great tool, and I'll actually get into that in another recording, but I just want to mention that. A uh, great episode, and also he doesn't get too stuck up in the whole, like, patch thing. And if he does it, he does it in a very, like, 
what I would call it, in a very um, constructive way. So, shit, go check him out. The man of cooler, great stuff, George. Wow. Um, right, heading to the shops. Oh, yep. Yep, rating is another topic, but I'll get to that. So, see you guys later. This is Gray's BDF signing out. While we're gold, brainstorms, I'm out. Peace.